The Federal Ministry of Water Resources and Sanitation, in collaboration with UNICEF Nigeria, has launched a private sector consultation as part of the Clean Nigeria campaign aimed at eliminating open defecation by 2025. The campaign comes against the backdrop of the 2021 Washnom survey, which reveals that 48 million Nigerians practice open defecation. Additionally, more than 90,000 schools and 21,900 health facilities across the country lack access to basic sanitation services. Today we are going to be looking at um, working or consulting, bringing in our ideas and innovation to see Nigeria become open defecation free. That is a nation that is free of pollution, and to have a healthier environment for our people to be efficient and productive in their various fairs. We're very proud to have that, those partnerships, but we need more. We need all hands on deck because this is a very important um, and major work that we have to do today with an estimated 11 million toilets that are urgently needed um, to build across Nigeria. As the previous speaker mentioned, this is a huge economic opportunity, huge economic opportunity for the private sector, for the population as well, for the government as well. We can bring young people to be the entrepreneurs of tomorrow. The overall impact of open defecation on public health and productivity is staggering. Poor sanitation costs Nigeria 455 billion naira annually about 1.3% of the country's GDP, according to a study carried out by the Water and Sanitation Programme. The private sector can do a whole lot uh, that the government can't do and that the NGO and development sector can't do in terms of helping small businesses to really access loans. Uh, for example, to build up toilet businesses, they can help to uh, build toilets themselves, but also public toilets, particularly in urban areas, are really needed uh, for places where people can't or don't have space to put them in their, uh, in their homes. So public toilets are often the only answer. Investing in sanitation, especially through private sector partnership, has immense economic potential. The toilet economy was valued at $4.7 million in 2024 and is projected to grow to $9.9 .9 million by 2030. Public-private partnership uh, is, uh, is the way to go now. The government has recognized the need to engage the private sector to invest in public assets, building the public asset, but also operating and maintaining these assets. And so the Nigerian Economic Summit Group, uh, through the WASH, that's Water and Sanitation, um, thematic group is supporting this process, which is being led by the UNICEF, uh, with the key uh, player being the Federal Ministry of uh, Water Resources and Sanitation. So investing in improved sanitation not only addresses these critical health concerns, but also promises substantial economic returns, and the private sector has to be on board. However, the cost of inaction in terms of health, economic productivity and overall societal development is too high to ignore. With millions of Nigerians still without access to basic sanitation, the road to becoming open defecation free is long. Stakeholders therefore believe that with a focused and united effort, Nigeria can achieve a cleaner and healthier future. Musumola Ogilu, Arise News, Lagos.